All right, this is the same thing again. A bit of long raining to start him off. He had yesterday off. Um, it's Monday evening, really, about seven o'clock. And just get him ready to ride again. I've just long reined him for a few minutes just to get him back into the swing of things. He hasn't had a saddle on for a day, so just got him into back into the game and me actually after a day off also my father-in-law came round for the day so I've been in the pub since lunchtime <laughs> but it all helps no. But I can see a change in him, you know, from the day off, you know, you get to see what's going on and I can see a big change in him. Remember on Saturday, he was a little bit grumpy and he was at a point where he needed that day off. So he's had his day off and he's gone away and he's consolidated a load of stuff. Up here, he's put it all together and I think we're going to go from strength to strength now. Because once that penny drops and the understanding occurs that, you know, he can allow this stuff to happen, he can allow me to do stuff with him and I'm no threat to him, then um, he opens up and the whole thing mushrooms. It goes from strength to strength, you know, leaps and bounds. And that's, um, that's what we're looking for. So <coughs> yeah, we'll achieve what you achieved on Saturday and then perhaps go to the next level, you know, just get him a bit more business-like about it. And see what, well, you know, where I'm on that. You know, he's still a little bit cautious around him, obviously, because two weeks ago, he was a bit of a problem. We'll get those first few steps. That's lovely, man. Oh, that's nice. Well done. And then... But, you know, he's going longer. He's relaxing so much more with me now. You know, he's stretching out there. I still have to save him from himself a little bit, but actually we're getting here is nice he's a little bit um i mean it's a little bit windier today you know it always puts horses on edge but um you know he's so much more um with it than he has been he's really working at it he's sort of understanding that he can do this stuff this is good, yeah, nice. <coughs> Just like I did on Saturday, I was helping him out a little bit with keeping balance, making sure he stays out of trouble, slowing him down if he gets a bit quick, because the thing with some of these horses, and he's definitely one of them, is that, you know, he wants to get into where the trouble is and has always been, and, get rid of his rider and come out the other end so he's left alone so you know there are times there where he goes to speed up <coughs> and goes to run that old program where he has to get rid of his rider but he's I'm hoping the large part of him now believes that that isn't necessary and that there's another way which is less stressful and so on so um we're definitely making huge progress with this horse now. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> Tongue over the bit there. Mm. Let's go the other way. 
you know, there'll be some people saying, oh, crack on with that horse, kick him through it, see what you get. And, um, you know, they can do it how they want. <laughs> How I do it. And you know, this is great. Because he's reaching longer, you see, he's if you notice, I don't know whether you can um see it, but his belly's dropped down a bit. He's not holding himself so much, he's much looser with the way he moves and the way he just floats around the stable. And actually, you know, when I went to get him just now and I tacked him up in the stable. He'd been laying down, which is something he hasn't done since he's been here. That's always a good transition, a good sign. That's lovely. You know, there's some subtle changes occurring now between what we saw on Saturday and what we're seeing now and I don't know I mean I do this so I've been doing this such a long time now that I don't know how much you can see and how much is relevant you know but I just mention that because there's a big change between how he feels now and how he was on Saturday everything is different and some of you will be able to see that You know the next big level is to canter him and it might be too soon but I'm sort of quite tempted to but first what I'm going to do is make sure I can haul him around here in a figure of eight and kick him up through these trots a little bit more without him getting worried see there he got a bit worried on that stride there I'll haul him around this way all right mate you're all right see there See, it's the next level. Just drag him round here, see what he does, because he doesn't know quite how to do that. We need him to know that if he doesn't know how to do it, that he shouldn't panic. There is a way, and that way involves listening to me and responding to what I'm asking you to do, and not just shutting down and thinking I'm part of the problem, because I'm not. I'm the answer. So keep listening. There you go, you see. Making sure that where those feet go is exactly where they need to be for that turn. Oh boy, nice mate. It's really good. <laughs> you are going from strength to strength. You know, I'm going to ease him up. Just see if I can get one or two strides of canter up and see what we get. You never know. There, yeah, that's good enough, you know. That was right on the edge. It wasn't cantered, but it was somewhere up there. Come on. Come on. Come. Come on. Nice, man. Nice, yeah. There you go, right back the other way. So now we're really picking things up. He has to process things a whole lot quicker. And we're pushing him through that next level. The trust has to be that much deeper. Come on, a little bit this way, just a little bit. Come on, up, up, up. Boy, steady. Good, 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 good. Now we're getting somewhere, yeah. That's more than I wanted, but it was, you know, he came through it and he, I've got to go the other way now because, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna give him a minute. Give him a minute, a second actually. Little canter this way, big boy. Come, come. Yep, 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 yep. There you go. Up. And then, there you go. Nice, mate. That's lovely. Nice and easy. It's quite hard in his mouth, you know, where he's been long reined a lot. I mean, I said on the first day that there's been a lot of long reining done with this horse, and it's been all right, you know. It's been, it's been good, but. You find that, you know, with problem horses. They're often very shiny because they get groomed a lot. And they've often been long reined a lot 
or handled a lot, so they're really good on the ground generally because that's all anyone can do with them. <laughs> this is good, very good. Back in the middle, come on. Change there, good boy. Come, come. See, this is really good. Come on. Lovely. Oh, let's have a walk. God, I shouldn't do that on a full stomach. <laughs> so we both had an easy day yesterday. That's what you need sometimes. Come on. The next thing I'll predict about this horse in the next few days is that he'll just go hard everywhere where he won't worry about anything. You'll have to really kick him through it. He's sort of showing bits of that now and um, that's a good transition and they all go through it these unrideable types where they I don't know why but it's almost like they're celebrating the fact that they don't have to be so twitchy anymore you know they can just tough it out they've never tried that before you know all their responses have been just to live on their nerves and run away from everything and um, you get to this point where they just nothing matters you know they just get really um, it isn't rude and it isn't um, it isn't a sort of ignorant hardness it's it's still workable but it's um it is almost like a celebration of the fact that they don't don't need to worry anymore. Come on. Come on, old bean. Go on up there. You know, the other thing is you just let them find that stride up to the next speed. Come on, lazy. See, there's that bit of deadness coming out. That's good. That's good, though. Oh, steady. You got a bit lost there. You know, he's trailing his hip on the inside there and getting unbalanced. And they had to just pick him up to get him balanced in it, and he got a bit lost. But you know, you've got to be able to recognize these things to help him out. He's there again. He's just a little bit. But you know, he'll learn. That's better, he stepped up and out then. Good boy. Oh, not too much. Not too much, man. Not too much. Let's come this way. God, I've got a fly in my eye. That happened the other day. Ooh. Oh, nice big horse. Hey, let's give you a walk around. If he looks easy, by the way, it's because the whole way I work is, you know, I'm not a rough rider, I'm not a rodeo rider or anybody with a big ego that needs to show bravado. My whole way of working is to work below the occurrence of the bad behavior, if you want to call it that, or that response we don't want, whatever it might be, the bucking. I work below that so that they don't feel the need to do it. You know, you ease them through a, a learning curve without getting into that trouble. It isn't about getting into that trouble and fighting through to a win like you see so many trainers do. It isn't about winning, us winning and them losing. It's about us working together and helping each other out. I said on one of the other films I made that we're in the same boat, you know, get to the end of the day without trouble. 
and the better he is, remember, and the better he turns out, the better I'm considered as a trainer. And that's, that's a motivation on my side where, you know, obviously I want to get better and better. I've always wanted to get better and better and still looking for new things all the time. And the better he is, if he succeeds, I succeed. That's what I'm saying, you know. People have tried and failed with this horse. And, you know, he's coming through in just two weeks. And it looks easy. A few people are saying, well, what's his history? You know, I'll, I'll leave it to the owner. I haven't spoken to the owner. She's seen the clips, actually. Susie's spoken to her and she's very happy, but there is a thing called client confidentiality and she may not want people to know the history and who's been involved. I know, but it's nothing to, it's not my place to tell you, so um, they all look easy when they're done right. You know, there's a lot of fighting goes on in horsemanship demonstrations where people show how bad a horse is before beating them and winning. Come on old fella. Steady down. And then the audience thinks that horse was bad, wasn't he? Because they've seen a horse fight for his life, you know? And then become subjugated. Well, that isn't what I do. It never has been. Because that isn't good horsemanship and I've met loads of people and worked with people over the years that are just on an ego trip. But I started with horses because I like horses. nice big boy, hey? So anyway. If it looks easy, it's because it is when you know what you're doing. Anything is. Wow. Did a big thing there, didn't you? So, you know, he's well on his way now. I mean, I said on Saturday that, um, you know, he's making some big leaps, but you know, that was huge there. So anyway, Whew. that's nice. Might give him another day off tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Right, good, I'll keep you posted.